<laughs> and what a perfect way to start off the new year. Hey guys, it's Felix from Bars and Cigars ATL, and we're just wrapping up our first week of 2024. Can you believe it, right? Uh, but right before the New Year's, I was able to get my hands on something I think is pretty special, uh, and no bias here. But this is the Old Four Distillery Double Cast Series. And like I like to do is give you a little bit of background on the company itself, and then we'll get into what's really in the bottle. So. If you haven't heard of Old Four Four Distillery, they're local here in Atlanta, and they've been around for a while. They have amazing gin, vodka, uh, they're, they're double cast, all amazing stuff. Well, in recent years, they actually joined forces with Short Barrel, another heavy hitter in the whiskey space. Unless you've been on the rock, you may not know. But both teams are very adventurous, very innovative in what they do in the whiskey space. This here is their vanilla maple cast. Now we've seen other maple casts floating around that we've heard of, <laughs> but this one is uniquely different. Like I mentioned, it's vanilla maple. So every barrel not just has the maple syrup added to it, but it has over 150, sometimes 200 vanilla beans as well. So you have a duality of flavors that really make this stand out compared to other maple casts or other even other double casts. Now, about the stuff that's in the bottle. This is actually MGP, and I believe it's the uh, 75, 21, and four makeup. So pretty common MGP juice, uh, straight bourbon. But again, the additional two years on top of the six that is already aged, that is spit in the maple vanilla cast, is going to make it stand out. Now, this is also a single barrel. This was picked out by Atlanta Whiskey Society. Again, a local Facebook whiskey group uh, that I had the privilege to assist in the picking of this barrel. So again, no bias, but I know this is a rock star. Now, unfortunately, it's been roughly around October when we originally picked this. So it spent some additional months in that vanilla maple barrel. So the flavors that it imparted for those additional months is gonna be new to me, just like they're gonna be new to you. Let's get into it. Haven't cracked the seal again since I originally tasted this uh, months ago. So I'm really excited to see what we get. If I can ever get the top off, right? There we go. Nice fresh cork pop. Um, and before we actually even pour this, I wanna let you guys know the color, it is completely opaque. I can't see through this. Uh, I'm expecting a lot of richness from the maple. Of course, the vanilla beans are probably somewhere settled on the bottom, so I should probably give it a little uh, disruption to stir all that up, but let's not waste any more time, right? All right, since we already talked about the color itself, I'll just give you a quick glance on how it looks in the Glen Cairn glass. And you could definitely see some particulates floating about in the whiskey itself. And again, just giving it a little stir just to make it maybe a little bit more evidence to you guys. Uh, it is again, cloudy, but again, that's not a bad thing here because we're talking about a double cast finish. So I'm expecting the two pick up some of those notes from the maple and vanilla, right? A good rich color, nice, not too dark. But of course, again, that 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 cloudiness is just gonna let me know I'm gonna taste every bit of this. As far as the viscosity, it is as thick as I thought it would be, being a maple finish. A lot of legs, a lot of oiliness, a lot of buttery residue right here on the Glen Cairn. Let's take it to the nose. Mm. It's actually spicier than what I thought it, it would be. And a little bit more oak. I'm guessing that's those additional uh, months that it spent that I didn't pick up the first time when we were actually at uh, Short Barrel Old Fourth Ward uh, tasting this. But I do like the spice. It actually doesn't give you what you think that rich sweetness up front. You get a lot of, a lot of that rye, that 21% rye. And then right behind that is the oak and then the maple sweetness. Again, that thick richness. It's opening up and I'm getting a little bit more and more sweetness as it does and as it aerates. 
And with that maple, I'm also getting just some brightness. I can't call it citrus, but it's just some nice brightness, maybe vanilla flower. If we're gonna lean that way with the vanilla beans and parking some of that. Yeah, really good nose after it opens up. Let's see how it is on a palate. Mm. There it is. The sky's on the nose, but not on the palate. You definitely get the maple syrup and the vanilla up front. I like it because it's not too, let's say pancake maple syrup. That's again, some other maple double cast had. This one is brighter, more approachable. Uh, doesn't directly throw me on a, you know, a diner plate smothered with butter and pancakes. But this one is a little bit brighter. It's a little bit more elegant. I would say not as dense or rich as other maple finishes. And that vanilla just gives it a little bit of brightness before that rye spice comes back and that oak. That's in the back of the palate. Nice spiciness, really. It definitely isn't too rich or too decadent which is pleasant because again, there's a lot of, I think, uh, whiskeys that can overdo the sweetness. When you're talking about a double cast or something that spent more time in other barrels, you have honey finishes out there, you have maple finishes out there. Um, I'm sure you're gonna see a lot more kind of rich decadent uh, finishes. Now, I will say this time of year, this actually uh, is really, really, really uh, something you'll be fond of because again, it has the spice, but it has that sweetness and it's not too sweet for some of those, uh, you know, big bourbon drinkers that like a nice kick and a nice hug because it gives you that with that spice. I would note that it is a 108 proof, uh, not too bad. Uh, again, gives you enough of that whiskey hug right here. And the finish last, I would say, a short, long finish, uh, if that makes sense. So a little bit over medium. And again, it stays on that palate with that spice and that vanilla. Nice spice, but the maple is really what you're gonna get. If you were to kind of uh, have a maple candy, I know that may be rare, but if you think about what your grandma maybe used to have at the bottom of her purse, she may have one of those old school maple candies. That's what you get. And if you mix that with some, maybe a red hot <laughs> out that same bottom of the purse is really what I'm getting here. So I like that uh, rich, uh, just nice kiss of maple sweetness, the brightness from the vanilla, but then again, that spice, that, uh, that rye is definitely apparent here. And I think again, it, that those extra months gave it maybe more body and more oak to it than when we originally tasted it. It was sweeter back then, I will say that, but it, we thought it was gonna be perfect going into the kind of the Halloween and Thanksgiving holiday. I actually appreciate the little bit more oomph. Gonna take one more sip. Mm -hmm. I love that the maple isn't overpowering. It's not too rich. That brightness comes through. It has kind of give you a little bit of everything with the maple sweetness, the vanilla brightness, more vanilla flower, but just that pinch of maybe vanilla, the vanilla beans here, and then the spice. Really like it, I think it goes well. Uh, December, January time of year, really is gonna be nice in this cold weather. Uh, Atlanta Whiskey Society, you have an awesome pick on your hands. Uh, you can re look them up on Facebook, Atlanta Whiskey Society. Jordan McGee is the uh, owner there. Um, and then again, Short Barrel or Old Fourth Ward, you reach out to them, they'll be able to get you the double cast maple vanilla right here. All right, guys, that's been another whiskey review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're able to find this in your local area. I uh, will say again, this is a single barrel. The single barrel you get may not have that. So maybe a little bit different, but a very, very, very good production of a double cast maple finish that gives you a little bit of everything. I think you'll enjoy it. Hey guys, if you like this review, of course, subscribe so you don't miss another one. We do spirit reviews, we do cigar reviews, and we do cigar accessory reviews. So we're kind of the all package here. All right, guys, share this with a friend that needs to get this. All right, guys, light up your life. Good.